Hi, I'm Bonnie Lynn Linke and welcome to my studio. Today I am going to make a card using the, wherever it is, the Night Divine stamp set. And I know you're thinking, oh, just words. Well, no, the dies in here are fabulous. Look at these. Oh, there's one missing, which is this one right here. It's the one with the Holy Family and a wise man and a shepherd. And it's just a wonderful set. I really like it. So we're gonna use that one today and I'm gonna take that back out right now and set this aside over here. And let me grab the card we're gonna do. Here's the card we're gonna do. And this is using the old O Holy Night Designer Series paper, which I think is just awesome. And we're also using Pebbled Path and Copper Clay. And, and some basic white right there too. And there's the inside. Now, I used the Christmas classics on this one. So that was one take on it. And just before I made started this video, I decided, well, you know, I wanna do one using the Wiseman also. So on this one, still used a uh, paper with the desert in the background, but I wanted the sky. And I know you can't see the words that well. It says, oh, holy night. I heat embossed them in copper. I wanted to use white, but with the white in the background here, I was afraid it wouldn't show up good. I probably should have tried the white. I didn't think the black would show up. So next time I try one, I am gonna try white and see how it turns out. But you can still read, the receiver of the card will still be able to read it. And it's really nice. And then for the inside, I just did stamps from one of my favorite Christmas stamp sets. This is from a couple years ago for Unto Us. I love these sayings and I wish they would do more like this. So this is really cool. And I like the sayings on the Night Divine. It's just, this one says Merry Christmas and um, they're a little bit... I think easier to use on the inside than the other one. Some of these are great for the outside, the heart, the herald angels sing. That would be great on the outside. I don't know if I would really use that on the inside, maybe, who knows, but okay. So I'm gonna show you how to make this card here. This card is the same concept, the exact same measurements, only I heat embossed the saying, and I used two of the star trinkets, adhesive back star, Star trinkets. I use the wise men and the camel. So let's get started. Okay. So bringing my little packet of supplies right here. And now I have two designer series paper pieces, and these are three and a quarter by five. And under um, the video where there's, I can leave um, directions and stuff. I do have all the paper measurements. You'll also find them all on my blog, bonniestamps.com. And you can either print them out. You have to open the PDF. It says, um, click here for directions. You open that and you can either print it out or you can save it as a PDF. And in the PDF is a link if you save it that will take you back to this video. So there we go. So either one of these would be great for this. I'm going to try this one though, but I'm going to use um, my Misty for stamping it due to the fact I'm using Pebbled Path for the ink. And I think it's going to take a couple times of stamping it to um, get it so that we can see it. And in case I can't, I have the other piece to go ahead and do it on. And you know, I know you don't have the white down here like the desert tail, but I think that's fine. I think this will work. And actually, when I'm done here, I will make a card using this piece of paper. And let's see. And on it, it's going to say glory to God in the highest. So let me get my stamp. And I'm just going to... Now I want to leave enough room so I can put a star above it. That's part of the problem because the paper gets darker as we go down. So I'll put it right there. A little bit more this way. I want to center it pretty much on there. And hopefully it's straight. I normally will put a piece of plain paper in there, like copy paper, just to make sure my stamp is set. But I think 
this one is pretty straight, so we can. And you know, who doesn't get a stamp a little bit crooked? There we go, that's pretty straight, at least from this angle. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm going to stamp it again. I love, I love my Stamparatus in this Misty. Um, I'm just using this one instead of the Stamparatus because it was handy and I find it for doing what I'm doing right here a little bit easier to use. Okay. And there we go. Oh, good. That's nice and dark. So you can see it. And actually, you can... And I know it has to dry yet. You can see it better because this I stamped using a block, so I couldn't re-go over it again. And that was part of the reason that made me decide to use the Stamparatus. Now I'm just going to leave that just like it is so that when I'm done here, I can just use this to stamp that other piece of paper. So I'll stamp that away. Okay, so I'll bring this all in here. The only other stamping we have to do is on... The inside saying. Get my bone folder. I'm right handed, so I do it upside down when I do it. There we go. And okay, now on my pebble path, because I used panels for both the front and the inside, and they are different sizes. The one for the inside is four by five and a quarter, but on this one, you'll see it is just a hair smaller. And I'm. it's just one line smaller. This is actually three and 15 16. I just wanted a tiny bit more of the um, copper clay to show, but I didn't want it to go too far. And believe it or not, I'm actually gonna use glue. I normally don't do that for putting my card prints together because if I make a mistake, I can't fix it. But I got an owie, you can't really tell it now, on the tip of this thumb right there. And it's affecting <laughs> me being able to use my tear and tape. And I know I could probably use the stamp and seal. And I'm just putting it lightly near the edges. But I sliced it with a knife the other day and I kept having a Band-Aid on it, but it kept bleeding and I finally got smart and asked my husband if we had any of the liquid band-aids and we did and so I put that on and it does still bleed through you know on the tip of your thumb what a nasty place to get a cut okay and I'm just trying to make sure this is pretty even before I press down I learned that you got to do that before you press down make sure it's straight and all I'm getting better working with glue. There we go. I didn't get too much on my fingers that time, so I think I'll survive. And then I'll do the same here. Who knows? Maybe I'll become a green glue fan. And what about you? If you watch this, put in the comments, do you like stamp and seal, tear and tape, or green glue bet better? We all have our favorite adhesive. I know we all use the different ones, but we always have a favorite. Mine was tear and tape, but you know, since I'm getting arthritis in the fingers and all, I'm, you know, I don't think it's my favorite anymore. I use the sail a lot too. But as I get better using the green glue, um, I'm kind of liking it. And I take the plastic wrap off of it because that seems to get sticky. And I just like having the plain white bottle. It also looks cleaner. Okay, so that was nice and easy. Okay, now what I did next is I cut two shepherds out. I cut one out of um, crumb cake and the other one out of pebbled path. And the way I did that is I took this die and if you guys have the fishing dies, and you know the tackle box thing, how you get these papers out of it, and I did a class on it, so I have a lot of them in the crumb cake color. So I just take 
and I just put the shepherd uh, on it and um, just cut them out of that and I'm finding a use for these and also if you don't if you just have a scratch piece of pa paper like I did for the pebble path I just put them near the edge to get what I want and cut them out there's no reason to cut out the whole die when we only need that one piece and the same for when I did the um, Wiseman on this end. I did it on Knight and Navy. I just cut him out and that was it. Okay. Now, what you want to do is you want to find your snips. And you want to cut off this extra part here. And you can curve it or whatever you want to at the bottom. And you want to do the same on this one. Now, I wanted the shepherds facing each other. And the only way to do that was to turn one, put one on upside down. And if you look at these upside down, I think it's much more noticeable if you put the crumb cake one upside down. So I put the pebble path upside down. Um, I wish they would have done two of each of them for the shepherd and the wise men so that we could have... Um, had our choice, but they didn't. Oh, and I wanted, I'm sorry, I want dimensionals for putting the shepherds on. So forget that glue dot. I'll just put that over top the glue dot. And I'll put one down here. And I'm gonna use three of the mini dimensionals. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my mini dimensionals on this guy too at the same time. I waste a lot of glue dots. I forget and put the wrong thing on. <laughs> but it's okay. It would have been okay if I had done the mini dimensionals. And then you decide where on here you want to put them. I'm going to put this one down here. I'm going to put this one up higher. But you don't have to put it on, you know, you don't have to turn it over. You could have it the right way and have it facing the other way. But, you know, I feel this way. They're having kind of a conversation. And it just is nice. Now, I felt that we needed a flock of sheep. So we did three of the sheep. And I like the white sheep. We could have done a black one or whatever. But I just decided to go for white on all three. So I'm going to put it. That glue dot was supposed to stick. Okay. Not exactly where I wanted it, but that's okay. There we go. And one more. All right. And then I think I'm going to put one up here. And I thought about turning one over these. But it didn't look good turned over. So they're facing that way. And just put them wherever you desire on there. Okay. And then all we need now is one of our adhesive back star trinkets. And here we go. I, op I cut the side off of mine so I don't have to open the back and pull it in and out. I can just slip it out that way. And we're going to go ahead and put one of the big stars, and I'm going to center it right here on the O of glory. And there we go. The front is all done. So now let's move on to the inside. So here's my piece of white cardstock. Let me get my stampin' pad because I am going to use the Christmas Classic stamp set for doing the inside of my card. And I'm gonna use both ink colors here. Oh, set that out of the way. I'm gonna open up the Pebble Path. And let's see, I think I did Peace on Earth on that one. I 
think for this one, we will do Tidings of Comfort and Joy. Now this is photopolymer and that's why I have the, um, Stampin' Pad. I'm sorry, I was trying to read here. Okay, so this one says Tidings of Comfort and Joy. I'm gonna put that on a block. And then I want a block for Christmas. I'm gonna put that on a block. Let me turn it over this way and just go like so. And then I want Merry Christmas, so I need Merry. So I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna find my block, here we go. And just set that on there, okay. And here's the stamp um, set, Christmas Classics. It's the one that comes with the die I used it a couple weeks ago, the Joy and Noel um, bundle. It goes with that. So, okay, I'm gonna stamp my Comfort and Joy first. Ink it up good. Tap, 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 tap. And I'm just going to try and get this straight. Sorry if my head got in there just then. Hold it down for five seconds. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like the way that's stamped. I'm going to turn that over and I got ink all over the place. I think I'm going to go back to using Peace on Earth. Until I can, because that's the first time I've used that stamps stamp. So until I can play around with it, I may need to wash it off better or something first. So let me go ahead and try this one. Okay. Peace on earth. There we go. Straight enough. <laughs> okay, and then we want Merry Christmas. So I'm gonna use the copper clay for the Merry and the Christmas actually. I want it um, two different colors. So I'm gonna put that right there. And when I say two different colors, I meant for the main saying and then the Merry Christmas. I should clarify that. Hopefully my placement is right on here, means I can't turn it over again. And see all that ink I got on there? I'm gonna get this and wipe that off. And let's see if I can do a little bit better, okay. And try to get my Christmas somewhat straight. There we go. Looks good. Okay, close these up. Step, set my stamps off where I will not put my hand in them. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and glue this to my Pebble Path panel. Now, I actually could have cut out the whole um, die here of the Holy Family and um, used because this was gonna go over it and you would have never known. And that way I could have maybe used them for something else. So, or else if you didn't wanna, um, because we're not gonna see a whole lot of this, if you did not wanna waste the center, you could get one of your rectangle dies and cut out the middle or something and reuse it on something. I didn't even think of any of that until I was just assembling this all together right now. Okay. So, and if I seem scatterbrained, I may be a little bit, my husband is really ill, so, and, um, so that has kind of taken my brain away and I'm focused on that and the long-term treatment for him. So, and it is long-term and we'll just see what God has in store for us. So here we go. I'm going to 
put my glue close to the edges, but try to keep the lines thin so it doesn't squeeze out. And bring my card back here. And we'll center it in the middle of here. All right. And then we need to put, we don't have to, but I'm just gonna take, let me see, I think I'll put it this way. A piece, oh, I thought I had already clipped that. Um, hmm. I had cut one someplace, I don't know what happened to it, but you know, I'm not gonna get that straight and it's gonna look horrible, so I'll just grab this and I'll cut it at three and three quarters. Get a piece of paper off of there and put that in there. Love my paper trimmer. I use it all the time. I have a guillotine cutter, but I just cannot get things accurate on it. I ha used to have one that was really good and I used it all the time, but then it just wore out and so now I haven't been able to find one that I like. So if you guys have a guillotine cutter that does a really good job, let me know in the comments what brand you use. And we're just gonna put that right down there like so. And we'll slide that over a little bit. There we go. I like dressing up the bottom a little bit. And then we're gonna do the same for our envelope. Now what I did, I cut four inch strips of paper out of my designer series paper for the cards. So I had some um, that I had some of the length left and I decided, well, you know, because it was cut that way, I was thinking, I don't have to use it that way. I can just turn it the other way and, and use it up. So that's what I did. I didn't want to cut into a whole new piece and cut, um, you know, two inches off the top of it to get my, the paper for my envelope flaps. So I just, this was positioned good enough that I could just uh, turn it sideways and it didn't really matter. And I don't think anybody's going to notice anyhow. They don't look at they look at the envelope flaps, but they don't study it. I don't know anybody who studies my cards anyhow, except maybe my grandson and granddaughter to compare them, to see who gets the, who I love more, who got the better card. <laughs> Kids are funny. <laughs> they really do do that. <laughs> They'll compare cards and have a discussion on, well, Baba loves me better. No. She loves me better. My card's better. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. So for your envelopes, because we all use different brands, um, you know, make sure I don't put the measurement for the envelope flap because um, I know we all use different brands. So measure your envelope flap to see what size you need. Mine happens to be two, two inches. It's really actually, I think, one and um, seven eighths. But I cut it at two. I don't mind that little bit hanging over there. I don't take it off. I just leave it on there. I just cut off the sides and I do cut it right at six inches. Uh, almost got it done. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And um, if you visit my blog, bonniestamps.com, there will be a pop-up where you can um, subscribe to my emails. I send out two to three a week. I don't want to bombard you. So I send out the one on Tuesday, which is has a video with it. And the one on Thursday is usually a quick and simple card. We all need quick and simple cards. But, and I'll use my eraser on that to get that glue off. I was messy on that. And so there we go. There's our envelope is all dressed and pretty. And there's our card to go with it. Here's the one from before that I made. 
And then here's this card right here that I made. And for that one, I did do an envelope too. My hands are sticky. And this is what I mean. The paper goes that way. Um, but I had a little bit left over, so I just turned it and I, I cut, it was four inches wide, so I just cut it to two by six and I turn it this way. And I think it looks perfectly fine for an envelope. I'm not concerned about it, if anybody will think it looks bad or not. And if you're confused on what I just said, <laughs> let me know and I'll try to, I'll take pictures and show you in an email. So there we go. Okay, I hope you like this. And um, if this causes you to purchase this set I and you don't have a demonstrator, I would love it if you use me. And I do have a monthly tutorial, which is this month, the bag of bones that you get. It's four cards and you can also use the folds. There's a pop-up, there's a slider spinner card, there's a creative fold. And the other one is kind of a creative um, made card too. It's not your standard card. So um, you can use them for other cards, um, stamp sets. You don't have to have the bag of bones to use it. Okay, thank you very much, and I hope you have a blessed week, and I will see you next week with a new video on a Christmas card, hopefully. Thank you much. Bye.